and, and, and as we probably all know, the sort of prototype for this is Titian's famous painting, which Gandolfi would have known through copies and reproductions, would have seen in the Orléans collection in Paris. He's very widely traveled. Uh, and, and there are other artists like Sebastian Ricci who paint, paint versions of the Titian and so forth. Uh, so the, the, that's the kind of <coughs> model it comes out, 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 out of. But it was painted, we don't, we don't actually know it was painted for, we know it was painted for a, a Russian collector, a, 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 a collector from Moscow, because his son, uh, in the early 19th century after Gaetano's dead, writes a letter asking that he try, he's trying to track down these paintings and the studies for them. And he said, you know, the famous paintings that were done for the Moscow collector. It's been assumed, I think probably quite rightly, that the Moscow collector is Yusupov, since Yusupov was the greatest, uh, apart from the, the Catherine the Greater, he was the greatest uh, private collector in, in Russia at the time. He goes to Bologna in 1787, which is probably right around when this would have been painted. He's made a member of the Academy. There's no record that he ever met uh, Gandolfi or commissioned this, but it, it's, it almost certainly was used um, it's a, it's a, it's, it, it, it is a picture <laughs> of a well documented, sort of quite well documented early history, and, and then it disappears. It ends up in Lithuania, uh, and then it ends up in, uh, it, it was a nursing home, wasn't it? Was it a nursing home? It ends up in a nursing home in South Carolina, where it was simply, a photograph was sent to my colleague, they had no idea what it was. And, and it's a kind of, an amazing thing, except it does, this is what I began by saying, it does happen with artists like this, whose value would have dropped to, very minimal amounts in the 19th and early 20th century, and whose fame would have been really limited to probably Bologna and most of the immediate area. It, it just was forgotten who it was by, and it, it wasn't, wouldn't have been probably of huge value. And so a fairly ordinary American might have been given it, bought it, brought it to America sometime in the, in the early 20th century, and it was just forgotten 